As a Viera resident, having a golf cart is almost something that is mandatory. I love the convenience of them, the ease of just getting around the different neighborhoods, being able to pick up my children from school, it's just, the list goes on for that stuff. But as I have conversations with people that are moving into Viera, at one point or another, the conversation about golf carts and golf cart paths and legalities always happens to surface. So we wanted to make this video for you guys that have questions about how to use golf carts in this area and if they're allowed and then what makes them so dang cool. This is what makes this area so different is all of these pathways that are multi-use. And just so, so you have some of the basic, you know, guidelines about golf carts is these pathways are 10 feet wide. They are multi-use, which means pedestrians, bicycles, and golf carts. As far as speed is concerned, the suggested speed for golf carts is 10 miles an hour. We're gonna leave it at that. 10 miles an hour, they must be talking about pedestrian speed. Also, regular sidewalks, golf carts are prohibited. They, they are not allowed to drive on those. The rule is the golf cart can travel on a roadway as long as the posted speed limit is below 30 miles an hour. You can be on that roadway as you are navigating to a multi-use path like this one here that we're standing on. But if there is a multi-use path, technically you are supposed to use that. Prime example, the posted speed limit on this road is 20 miles an hour. There's no golf cart path, so I'm on the road. Golf carts, bikes, and pedestrians all share these sidewalks and they are integrated throughout almost all of the communities within Vieira. And it's something that the people that live here appreciate, they like the convenience of it, and ultimately it becomes almost the way of life once you have one of these things. That guy loves his golf cart. So like during certain holidays, he'll deck it out. We do golf cart parades here. That dude's always leading it. And then recently he just took it down, but he had that thing uh, decked out as a cyber truck. I actually have some footage, I'll show you. It's Pretty freaking cool.